hey hello everyone welcome back to the channel and today i'm going to show you how to use the color space node to composite your 2d elements better way so as you can see in the first one uh, i'm using the hsv color space and in the second one i am using the hsl color space we are using these two color space to composite the 2d elements like uh, the smoke and dust element and we are adding the background color without affecting the luminance of the smoke element so what i mean by that i i have uh, this method I have this practical example to show you what is what is basically happening in this method one as you can see I have this footage right and I'm using this noise so I want to composite this noise on this footage so if I take one merge and if I directly merge like this A over B so it will basically look like this in more realistic way uh, this element need to take the background color I mean if this element is on top of this water this white should not be uh, completely white it should more uh, look like a blue color it will not gonna look see through okay so anytime you merging a smoke and dust and fire element don't use uh, plus and screen mode always use over and make sure your uh, element have a proper alpha and then just merge it over and then do your all your blending and everything in the a side so the main thing we need to add a background color into this element this color space trick what is basically happening we are converting this color space then we are applying this background color and then we are converting this back srgb i mean this uh, the normal color space rgb so in this first example uh, what i am doing i am just converting this uh, linear color space so if you create a color space node so the by default it will show you the linear in and linear out so what i did here i i basically clamp this one because this value is very bright so i clamp this one and i blur this one a lot as you can see like that and then i convert uh, this linear color into yc bcr the same for this uh, element also and then what i did here as you can see i'm basically copying the green into green and blue into blue so what is basically happening i'm taking green and blue color from this a input and replacing on a b so as you can see now if i view this one it will look a little bit different as you can see if i uh, show you you will not gonna see much of the difference until we convert these two back to S R rgb now as you can see if i disable this one as you can see we added this background color into our element without affecting the luminance as you can see the luminance is the same and then we can merge it on top so now as you can see without this one it will look white and all that but with this one it will take the background color of this element so if i reduce the blur i think blur is too much so if i do a 200 now as you can see this smoke element taking this uh, bluish color and all other part are taking the color what is behind them this is the one way of using the color space node and the another way of using converting your color space into hsv and also the hsl as i show you here hsl also you can do that but we are doing in hsv so the same thing i'm taking this color and converting this linear color space into hsv and doing the same thing on this element also now instead of doing copy i'm doing a dissolve uh, technique so what is happening in the dissolve basically as you can see first of all uh, if you take the dissolve node you will see it will affect all channels and you have all these parameters so what i did here if i open this one i am first of all i'm affecting the rgba only okay and then i am uh, i don't need uh, this one i don't need uh, the red and green i need only the blue so as you can see in this one what i am doing i am just unchecking the blue one and i am taking only the red and green channel from this a side and applying on a, this one so as you can see so basically what is happening uh, i am keeping the blue from this uh, uh, zero and i am taking the red and green from this uh, one and then i am converting back to rgb as you can see if i disable this one as you can see we have these colors and then i'm merging this over on this one so we have uh, these two techniques basically as you can see they both are looking little bit different as you can see so and one more use of this color space note as you can see here what i am doing anytime you are adding uh, a contrast to this image if i take a grid note and if i add uh, contrast like this you may notice uh, the entire image also gets saturated a lot by sample here 
and if you check uh, the saturation is 0.35 okay if i enable this one see saturation is increased 0.48 so in that situation what we are doing we are taking a saturation node and just counterbalancing uh, like that see now i counterbalance now it's the saturation is same as you can see saturation is not changing and our image will look good i'm just adding a contrast without affecting the color and without the saturation it's getting too saturated so to doing this uh, uh, grade and saturation there is a better way using this color space just convert this to hsv and convert back to rgb i mean the rgb and in between just add one grade so what is basically happening in the hsv so hsv u saturation and the value red channel is containing the u the u of this image and the green channel is storing the saturation and the blue channel is storing the luminance if i want to add a contrast i need to affect the blue channel so as you can see in my grid i am just unchecking red and green and just only affecting the blue then if i add this gain to down now i am adding a contrast i'm basically adding a contrast without effect without affecting the saturation so this is the way you can uh, manipulate the color so if i want to increase the saturation only the saturation so i can disable the red and blue and just increasing the green one so as you can see i'm affecting adding this one so if i want to change the hue just click on the red one and now i'm changing the hue uh, this is very useful way to add, to uh, do a adding a contrast and uh, blending your elements uh, with the background and here is the example of i'm doing some uh, smoke element blending so as you can see i have this footage here okay and this is the element i have this uh, smoke element basically doing a reformat first and just adding a little bit of noise here as you can see just a little bit of noise i'm adding and then i'm doing the uh, same thing and but i'm but but in this one i'm doing a dissolve one as you can see just converting these two into hsv dissolving the red and green from this uh, one pipe and converting back and as you can see we have uh, this nice color from the background and then i'm merging here so you will see this look so as you can see without this one is completely white and this one is looking very natural and again uh, i'm converting here to linear to hsv and i can add one grid here and i'm just i just want to add a contrast so i'm doing this and i can add a contrast or decontrast so as you can see this is a much much better way of adding a contrast without affecting your colors as you can see and the next way as you can see the, i have a same image here and the same element but this time i'm using the ycbcr and i'm doing this one i'm just disabling the saturation just to show you what is happening so this is the default one but as you can see if you compare uh, this to the hsv as you can see this uh, y ycbcr is uh, containing less colors i mean it's not much saturated so what you can do you can add a saturation here to counterbalance and then you can see now we have more color here and the same thing you can add one grade here in this backdrop just affecting the blue channel which containing the luminance so i can add a lot of contrast here like that as you can see and as you can see i think i need more color so what i can do i can go in my saturation i increase the color to or maybe three three is or not i think 1.7 is enough so there are two techniques as you can see this one and this one you can uh, it, it depend on your shot which one will work okay and uh, as you can see the same thing i'm doing here converting this hsv and converting this ycbr and merging here just uh, two techniques as you can see this one and this one i think this uh, hsv is working uh, fine in this situation as you can see without this one you can see this is the uh, element is looking look like but with this you can see this is taking a color from this background and if i reduce this dissolve as you can see we now we are taking a less color but it should one then it will blend properly or otherwise we can use this ycbr or we can use this hsv hsl sorry you can convert this to hsl like that and it's working uh, same as you can see 
but with uh, but with less color as you can see so i'm converting this to hsv so this is the practical way of using this color space node it's very 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 useful so i'm just copying this one here so this is the color space node so this is very quick one i just want to tell you how you can blend your 2d elements uh, the better way using this color space technique so please let me know in the comment uh, what do you think it is helpful or not and as I, as I always i will provide this project file also in my patreon so make sure you check that out and hope you guys uh, learned something please let me know in the comment thank you so much for watching have a great day